The message coming out of China is getting louder by the day. This is about China and its expansion. How likely is it? How prepared are we? And at what cost for us and the world? Imagine a world where every country uses the same map that shows all the territories and borders they agree on. Sounds simple, right? And it is, for the most part. But when one country publishes a new map that shows their country is much bigger than it is, and why they own more land than they should, well, that's where the conflict starts. And that's precisely what China has just done. Join us as we discuss how China just annexed India, Russian, and Malaysia territories. China has a long history of expansionism that dates back to Asian times. China was once a major empire that dominated the political, economic, and cultural landscape of East Asia. China gradually rose to become a formidable geopolitical power center from the ancient era through the efforts of various dynasties that expanded its territory and influence. The first dynasty to unify China was the Qin Dynasty, which also initiated the construction of the Great Wall to defend against nomadic invasions. During the period where China exerted extensive geopolitical influence over its neighbors, such as the Han, Tang, Yan, and Qing dynasties, China's reach extended beyond the confines of East Asia and impacted the development and politics of other regions as well. China conquered or controlled parts of North Asia, Central Asia, South Asia, and Southeast Asia, and established tributary relations with many states. China also engaged in trade, diplomacy, and cultural exchange with other civilizations, such as India, Persia, Rome, Arabia, and Europe. However, China's expansionism came to a halt after the collapse of the Qin Dynasty in 1912, which marked the end of the imperial rule in China. China then entered a period of turmoil and weakness as it faced internal rebellions, foreign invasions, civil wars, and communist revolutions. China's territorial integrity and sovereignty were challenged by various forces, such as Japan, Britain, France, Russia, and the United States. China also lost control over some of its former territories or dependencies, such as Mongolia. Mongolia, Tibet, Xinjiang, Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan, and Korea. Now, though, China is looking to restore its historical borders and reclaim the territories that it considers to be part of its core interests. In its latest expansive conception, China has now released a new national map. The Philippines, Malaysia, Vietnam, Taiwan, and India, all of which have territorial disputes with China, have objected to the 2023 version of the country's standard map, released by the Chinese Ministry of Natural Resources. This 2023 version of the map, issued by the Chinese Ministry of Natural Resources features a prominent U-shaped line that reasserts China's sovereignty over a substantial portion of the South China Sea. This region holds immense strategic significance, serving a vital maritime route through which trillions of dollars in global trade flow each year. However, the map's claims have territorial disputes with China, involving countries such as the Philippines, Malaysia, Vietnam, Taiwan, and India. The inclusion of this U-shaped line in China's new map has heightened tensions in an already volatile area. Experts like Donald Rothwell, a professor of law at the Australian National University specializing in maritime law, have raised concerns that this move could potentially lead to further clashes. Rothwell points out that while other countries may vehemently object to China's territorial claims depicted on the map, the fact that it has been officially approved and published by the Chinese government means that the Chinese Navy and Coast Guard are likely to utilize it as a basis for asserting Chinese sovereignty and jurisdiction in the South China Sea. The South China Sea is known for its overlapping territorial claims by several countries. It is not only a crucial trade route, but also home to rich fishing grounds and potential oil and gas reserves. The disputes over the region's sovereignty have been a source of regional and international tension for years. China's increasing assertiveness in the South China Sea have raised concerns amongst its neighbors and its border international community. The construction of artificial islands, military buildups, and territorial claims have all contributed to this heightened tension. The release of this new map, which reaffirms China's expansive territory, territorial claims adds another layer of complexity to an already delicate situation. This new map has sparked strong objections from neighboring countries, including the Philippines, Malaysia, and Vietnam. These nations have issued robust statements in response to the map, expressing their concerns and reiterating their claims over disputed territories in the South China Sea. The Philippine Foreign Ministry said, this latest attempt to legitimize China's purported sovereignty and jurisdiction over Philippine features and maritime zones has no basis under international law. In their objections, these nations have called on China to act responsibly and adhere to its international obligations. Citing international law in a 2016 ruling by the International Tribunal based in The Hague, 
The tribunal's ruling rejected Beijing's claims in the South China Sea. But it's important to note that China did not participate in the tribunal's proceedings and has consistently refused to accept the ruling's legitimacy. Interestingly, the new map introduces a notable change compared to previous Chinese maps that featured a 9-dash line encircling the South China Sea. The new map incorporates a 10-dash line, while the introduction of an additional dash appears to be a minor adjustment. It has raised eyebrows due to its implications. Notably, the 10th dash extends to the east of Taiwan. Taiwan, a self-governing island democracy. Taiwan is a unique and sensitive issue in international relations. While Taiwan operates as a separate and self-governing entity, Beijing insists that Taiwan is an integral part of its territory and has not ruled out the use of force to bring it under Chinese control. The Taiwanese government, however, maintains an independent emphasis that it is not part of China. This inclusion of Taiwan in the disputed territorial claims on the new map adds complexity to the already intricate web of territorial disputes in the South China Sea. It further fuels tension in a region where competing national interests, historical grievances, and strategic concerns have long been a source of contention. At a news briefing, ministry spokesperson Jeff Liu said, no matter how the Chinese government twists its position on Chinese sovereignty, it cannot change the objective fact of our country's existence. The Chinese foreign ministry responded by saying that Beijing's position on the South China Sea was consistent and clear. In the words of ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin, the competent authorities of China routinely publish standard maps of various types every year. We hope parties concerned can view it in an objective and rational light, he added. India has also lodged a robust protest with China over the map's inclusions of Arunachal Pradesh, an Indian state, and Akaisai Chin Plateau, a disputed region in the western Himalayas. This area is claimed by India but controlled by China. The Indian Foreign Ministry has expressed concerns that the map's assertions will only serve to complicate ongoing efforts. To find a resolution, to the long-standing border dispute between the two nations. This development comes on the heels of a recent agreement between Chinese President Xi Jinping and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi to intensify their joint efforts towards resolving the border issue. The map's publication, therefore, introduces a significant complicating factor into these diplomatic discussions. The disputes in the South China Sea involve more than just maps. There have been recent incidents that have caused tensions in the region. For example, in August, there was a clash between the Philippines Philippines and China, when Chinese vessels blocked and used water cannons against Philippine vessels in the South China Sea. China's actions in the South China Sea have extended beyond disputes on paper. They have involved building infrastructure on disputed islands, intimidating local fishermen, and engaging in confrontations with planes and ships from the U.S. and other countries, conducting freedom of navigation operations, which are meant to assert the right to navigate international waters. The timing of the map's release is seen as significant because it comes shortly after the clash between China and the Philippines. This incident has sparked discussions about the legitimacy of China's dash line maps and has led to renewed expressions of international support for the 2016 tribunal ruling, which rejected many of China's claims in the South China Sea. Controversies over the map are not uncommon in Asia, where governments are quick to push back against anything that could be seen as legitimizing Beijing's territorial claims. For instance, in July, Vietnam banned the movie Barbie due to a scene featuring a map that Vietnamese censors believe depicted the nine dash line. Line. However, Warner Brothers, the studio behind the film, defended the map, stating that its eight-dash line was a childlike crayon drawing and not meant as a political statement. However, the film review board in the Philippines did not share Vietnam's interpretation, allowing the movie to be screened. What do you think about this issue? Let us know in the comments section.